Jacks are on their way. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, with extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see. Are you in here? Oh. Oh, I do think the seesaw looks much better when it's balanced. Come on. One, two. One, two. The same number on each end. That's better. Three must be in the cosy room. Oh. One, two. One, two, three. Difference. Mm. That's better. One, two, three. One, two, three. The same. Oh no, what's going on? I like the seesaw balancing with the same number of blocks at each end. Mm. Thank you, that's better. What? <laughs> oh, number jack one, it's you. <laughs> oh, I've got to go. I suppose I'll have to leave it like that. We've got a call coming in. Where were you three? In the cozy room. What's going on? Things are going wrong. But not for long. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. The boy's only got one sock. That's no good for two feet. And he's got three shoes. That's not right either. It's not a very big problem. But it might get worse. Mm, you're right. So who could go out? If it's not a very big problem, I'm not a very big number, Jack. All right then, off you go. Oh, yes! Okay, three. I can do it. Ready for launch. Checking the room's empty. Somebody's there. I'll ring the doorbell. Nearly gone. They've gone. Looking for a three. Need a three to land on. Got one. Huh. Ah. Oh yes, I did it. Three is on her way. Agents calling in. Agent 72 here. There's a problem at the garden centre. The gardener had three plants and three pots to put them in, but now he's only got two pots. Agent 27 here. 
problems at the teddy bear's tea party. There are four teddy bears, but only three drinks. That's not right. At least there are enough bikes to go round. Two children and two bikes. I've got things under control here. Three, behind you. What? Oh, no. We know who does that. The number taker. Put in the data on screen. Number taker, number taker, have you seen the number taker? Taking all the numbers we can see. Picking, making, getting, making as mean a number taker as can be. With his number sucker up, he's a number mucker up, but he's as mean a number taker as can be. What's going on with all these things? The gardener had three plants, but only two pots. There were four teddies, but only three drinks. And two children, but only one bike. The numbers don't match. Yes, so there aren't enough things to go around. If the number taker keeps on taking things so that numbers don't match, anything could happen. If you've got two people, but thanks to the number taker, only one raincoat, there are big problems when it rains. If there are three dogs and only two bowls, one dog is going to go hungry. Four people with four kites are happy, but not if there's only two kites. We've got to stop that number taker. We need some brain gain to make the number of things match again. I'll work the brain gain machine. Brain gain, brain gain, to solve the problem, use our brain. All way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain gain. Stop the number taker taking things and make the numbers match. Sending brain gain. Stop taking things and make the numbers of things match. Four teddies, four drinks. Two children, two bikes. Three plants, three pots. Well done, three. And remember, Mr Number Taker, we've stopped you taking things away so the numbers don't match. I did it! I did it! This has been a bit too easy. Shall I come back now? More problems. Oh, no. The numbers don't match again. But we stopped the Number Taker taking things away. Well, look what he's doing. There are three plants and three pots. The number taker's back. But we've stopped him taking things. Well, he didn't take anything away. He added an extra plant. And now the numbers don't match anymore. Three, watch out. What's happening? The number taker is adding things to stop the numbers matching. He's coming. <sighs> oh, no, an extra teddy. And now the numbers don't match again. One, two, three, four, five teddies and only one, two, three, four drinks. <sighs> oh. It's an extra child. Sort of. That's one, two, three children and one, two bikes. We need to stop the number taker. Yes. Especially as he's adding some strange things. Let's send that brain game. The same number of both lots of things. The same number. The same number of both lots of things. Same number for both lots of things. The number of things matches. And again. 
Well done, three. Yeah. We've made sure that there is the same number for both lots of things. We've done really well. There's another problem. We can do it. We made sure that both lots of things had the same number. But look. Count the teddies, the drinks and the straws. One, two, three, four teddies. One, two, three drinks. And one, two straws. There are three different things to match. Teddies, drinks and straws. Oh, no. Look what's happening with the gardener. How many plants? One, two, three. How many pots? One, two. And how many saucers? Just one. The number of things don't match. Well, let's sort it out once and for all. Brain game coming. Make the number of all the things match. Same number. All the things match. Same number of each of them. Same number of teddies and drinks and straws. Same number of plants, pots and saucers. Same number of feet, socks and shoes. Yes! Well done, everyone. Wait a minute. We still haven't dealt with the number taker. It would be good to deal with him. I've got an idea. Yes. Let's make it the same number of meanies in the park as there are elephants in the park. But there aren't any elephants in the park. Exactly. Look what happens. The number of meanies in the park to match the number of elephants in the park. The number of meanies in the park to match the number of elephants, which is zero. I see zero elephants and a matching number of number takers. Zero. Come back now, three. I did it! Thanks for all your help. Here it is on the screen. The boy had two feet, but only one sock and three shoes. The numbers didn't match. The number of plants and pots didn't match. And the number of teddies and drinks didn't match. And there was only one bike for two children. We sorted it all out. But the number taker added things so the numbers didn't match. And we sorted that out. And we sorted it when the number taker made three lots of things not match. And we sorted the number taker. Hooray! You know, Four, sometimes it's good if the number of things match. Yes, I like the seesaw. Same number on both sides. But it doesn't have to be the same number all the time. Ah, that's true. That's fine by me. Could you match my buddy blocks? Have you got five of anything that could be the same number as my buddy blocks? Maybe five things on your body somewhere. Try and find a matching five and call the number jacks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero! The number jacks are on their way! Right. If you are sure you are in a sensible mood, <laughs> then I will allow you to look after my beautiful things. Number Jack 1. I've sorted you all with the shapes with straight edges. <laughs> straight. And Zero, you look after the ones that have curvy edges, because you're very curvy yourself. <laughs> These are all the curvy ones. And these are all the... All the straight ones. And this one is curvy. So it goes with the... <laughs> no, you're supposed to be looking after them. <laughs> all right. If you like, we could sort them by colour instead. 
zero, you can have all the greeny ones to look after. Greeny. And one gets all the bluey purpley ones to match your colours. Green, purpley blue, purpley blue, green, green. See, now they're sorted differently. All the ones with the oh, same oh, colour like... together. Oh. <laughs> oh, I wish you'd get a bit more into things. Into it. Yes. Oh no! See you later! <laughs> Helpful now. What's up, Agent 12? Things are going wrong. But not for long. The girls' toys are behaving very strangely. Putting it on screen. <laughs> the toys keep on moving all by themselves. I'm sure it's not really by themselves. Something's moving them. We're on our way. Thank you. And who's it going to be? Today it's number four. Woohoo! We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem. Do we Who's going out there? Number four. <laughs> for a four to land on. Found a four. Ah! You are right, four? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Better check those toys out first. I'm on my way. What's happening with those toys? Why do they keep getting into different groups? It's very strange. We may need some help from the agents on this one. Agents, why are things making different groups? Agent 108 here. I think they're going into groups because they've got something the same about them. What's the same about these toys? They're all toy animals. Yes, and the others are all toy trucks. I get it. Ah, they're in different groups now, sorted out differently. Now all the big toys are together and all the small toys are together. OK, we're getting somewhere. Sounds like more problems. Agent 63 here. There are problems at the picnic in the park. Problems at the picnic in the park? I'm on my way. Putting it on screen. The people keep getting moved into different groups. Four, there are problems with the people. Problems with the people at the picnic in the park? Don't panic. Can anyone work out how these people are being sorted? How about now? Looks like one group is all grown-ups. And the other group is all children. Yes, but watch out for the groups changing. <laughs> What's the same about people in each group now? Maybe it's their clothes. Yes, yes. One group is people wearing red tops. And in the other group, everyone is wearing blue tops. <laughs> Whoa! Back to grown-ups and children again. 
This is really spoiling their picnic. Who could be doing this mean stuff? <laughs> I know that laugh. Yoo-hoo! It's me! Spooky Spoon. Better check what we know about her. Uh-oh. One, two, three. She's mean. She's bossy. She's very cruel. She thinks she's great. She thinks she's cool. Jack Four. You've got to stop mixing things up, Spooky. But I'm not mixing them up. I'm sorting them out. Trouble is, I keep changing my mind how I want them sorted out. By colour. <laughs> or by how old they are. So hard to choose. <laughs> But you're really spoiling their picnic. Really? Yes, and it's not very nice. Oh, it isn't. Oh, you're right, Four. Naughty, naughty Spooky Spoon. I'll go away now and leave everyone in peace. <laughs> oh, good. To do. Well, I think we've sorted that out. Are you sure, Four? Oh, yes. Sometimes it just needs a few sensible words from someone like me. Don't want to worry you, but... Oh, it's no worry for me. Ah, oh, they've been mucked about again. Yes! <laughs> I get bored so easily. What groups are they being sorted into? I think it's by how old they are again. Yes, it is. It's not now. Why have these two been put together? And those two? You'll never work it out! <laughs> We've got to work it out so we can put things right. Maybe it's the things they are holding. On screen. What is it about these things? Oh, I know. It's like my beautiful things. What? The ball and the frisbee are curvy things. And the kite and the book have got straight edges. Great! We know what Spooky Spoon is up to. But if she keeps on grouping things in different ways, anything could happen. <coughs> Spooky might group people because of their hair. People with straight hair together. And then people with curly hair. <coughs> On the road, she might group all the cars together and all the trucks together, and then it's new groups, all the blue vehicles together, and all the silver ones. <laughs> We've got to stop that spooky spoon. I'm ready. Just send me some brain game. OK, I'll get the brain game machine going. Let's get some brain game to stop Spooky putting things into groups. Making brain game to stop Spooky putting things into groups. Wait a minute, there's a problem with four. Oh, waiting for your silly brain game, are you number jack four? Might be. The brain game's building up. We can't hold it much longer. Well, I'm afraid you can't wait here. But this place is for... <laughs> big things like benches. And you're not big. <laughs> so go away. Ah! We've got to send it now. Sending brain game now. Oh, no. Four isn't there to use the brain game. <laughs> I'm back, but I need more brain gain. I've changed my mind. I only want green things here, like the grass. I can be green. Huh. Uh, I only want tiny things. You can't get rid of me. Big things. 
I can fit him with anything you say. Uh, all right, then. A wibbly, wobbly things. <laughs> I can do it. I can make myself wibbly wobbly. Oh! Send that brain game quick. Sending brain game. Stop, Spooky, putting things in groups. <laughs> No more problems for the creepy people in the park! No more problems for the girl! And as for you, Spooky... What? We're putting you in the group of things that are... A long way away! <laughs> Now for One, two, three, four. Great work, Four. Thanks. I liked it when you were wibbly wobbly. I didn't. We've got it all on screen. The girls' toys are being put in groups. Animals and trucks. And in the park, the people were grouped by how old they were. All the children together, and all the grown-ups. And then it was all the curvy things together, and all the straight-edge things. Spooky tried to send me away because I wasn't a big thing. But you kept changing to whatever sort of thing she said. Even wibbly-wobbly. And the brain game got everything back to normal. And sent Spooky to be with the things that are far, far away. We've come to help you sort out your beautiful things, three. Great! Maybe you could do some sorting. Sort us number jacks. Can you think of different ways of sorting out the number jacks? What things are the same about some number jacks, but not others? Sort us out in different ways and call the number jacks. 